Okay, now we're going to do left side, but we're going to start with the cerebellum on the right. The reason we do that is the cerebellum on the right connects with the cortex on the left. Mm. And so we want to initially increase it because it juices that side. So we're going to give it its, its stimulation and we're going to increase it. The, the laser is about the wavelength of laser. It also is deep penetrating. We're, we're currently using red and violet right now. They, it, it allows us to go deep because it's layer, laser, it's parallel light rather than the diverging light like your flashlight and that, or like LED, which is common nowadays. They'll, they'll sell you an LED gadget or mm -hmm. gizmo and that and make you way overpay for it and then it doesn't ever do what you what you what they said it would do well laser causes it to be deep and penetrating but we're using it to to introduce a frequency into that area quantum mechanics states that all matter it has a waveform and a waveform has matter well the now we're going to come over here to 17 and 18 we'll go over that in a second but we're turning up 17 and 18 on this side uh, quantum mechanics is that we know what what every atom what's its frequency is we actually have charted the body and the brain and different parts of the brain to the to the point we know what level of frequency those cells should be operating at and in in that we're we're basically selectively increase in inducing a frequency into specific areas of the brain to cause the internal workings of the cell cells to increase right we're increasing their metabolic capacity we're increasing their their mitochondria to do more work we're causing this entire system uh, within the the city within the cell to function at a higher level so that we can we can do more therapy because the cell's capable of doing it now because it's so weak but also it's its own stimulation it's saying it's telling the nucleus listen you need to do better on your mitochondria and so it goes to a different area of the dna and and selects a more a more uh, efficient more effective version copy of the mitochondria it's a lot the same in sports right you go from high school to college sports holy mackerel it feels like you're dying and then after a while boom you're doing better it's because you have more mitochondria you have more blood flow you've you've totally changed your entire body to be able to do you know more at a higher level well this is that same process same exact process and we're forcing that system to do better